Welcome everyone to today's Platinum Coaching Webinar and today I want you to get settled in. This is not going to be a long webinar at all. This is a, um, a short, short session for you but it's very important because in all of our businesses, every one of our businesses, we have what, what we call best practices. Okay? And that really equates to systems. Okay, what are your systems in your business? I mean, everything has a system. And if it doesn't, then it totally, it's, it's really totally reliant on you uh, to, I don't know, what, how should we say this? Just kind of go through the motions. Just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. And uh, most successful business, especially in the Platinum program for all of the big-time real estate agents, uh, really it's just a matter of, of having better systems in place. It's not, it's not that... Um, you know some of the agents that make um, you know two, three, four million dollars in commissions in our program are better real estate agents. It's just that they really understand the value of leverage. So on today's webinar, and uh, we're going to call this uh, your optimum conversion strategy. It really is about your best practices when it comes to conversion of prospects. Okay, we're pretty good at generating leads. It doesn't take much to generate leads, but I can just tell you that dating back seven years ago, I will never forget the conversation with Mr. Craig Proctor when he called me, and uh, and uh, we were you know just kicking around businesses this was before there was a platinum program, and he just he asked me how many leads did I generate, you know that month, and I told him you know just over a thousand leads. He said, "Isn't it a shame?" And you know, and he, I mean, think about this: we're generating a thousand leads or more, and he he says, "Hey, isn't it a shame that you have to generate?" A thousand leads to sell forty or fifty houses. I mean, can you guys think about this? Can you think about any other business? Just, just think about it. Any business that that you go to, or that you frequent, or that you walk in the door of, or that you call, or you buy anything from, that has to generate a thousand prospects to sell forty or fifty, that forty or fifty transactions. So, what's wrong with that picture? Can you imagine your local supermarket? having, goodness gracious, a thousand people walk into the door and only 40 or 50 of them picking something up and running to the cash register? Okay, can you imagine a thousand people walking into the Apple store at your local mall and only 40 or 50 of them buying something? See, that's equivalent to like, you know, online marketing centers. I don't even know if you can get a thousand people to go to eBay and not have 40 or 50 or 50 people buy something. I mean, it's just it's crazy. But that seems to be typically the way things operate. Now, here's something really interesting, though, a statistic for you. And, uh, and you should be looking at your computer screen, I'm sure you are, as you're listening to me talk today. And well, this, is, <clears throat> this is pretty interesting as we get into this best practices strategy, your optimum conversion uh, strategy here. Um, I mean, think about it. If you get a referral, now, let I me mean, think about it. If you had a thousand referrals, genuine, legitimate referrals, it doesn't you, you've got a lot more than forty or fifty sales. As a matter of fact, you may have two, three, four hundred. So your conversion goes way up. So what's the big difference between the referral and the prospect that you generated from your you know, first-time buyer distress sales, free list ad that's running out there. I mean, what's the difference? And the difference really comes to the in-betweens. And what I mean by the in-betweens, uh, obviously on a referral, it's typically a pre-sold prospect that's waiting, that's waiting on your call. Uh, whereas the lead from the uh, free list ad, you know, they don't even know anything about you. They're just interested in uh, the information. So we tend to kind of write that off or slough it off as, yeah, you know, they're just not all that motivated. Well, screw that. They jump through some hoops to request the information. They're probably going to be moving in the future. And I bet you that if we all had a better system or better systems for conversion of the prospects that we do generate, you know what? Yeah, you would probably be able to monetize these prospects. And another thing is, is that we tend to be singularly focused on one thing, and that is uh, taking a lead and selling them a house. 
versus really understanding the value of your business uh, that it can do many, many things to get paid, to create income and money. Uh, could be referrals to mortgage companies, real estate um, attorneys, home inspectors, uh, you know, carpenters, remodelers, all of these things. So the businesses that you frequent, most of them that do really good, that, that don't require lots of customers to make a lot of money, yeah, you're right about that. They are probably doing a better job at understanding what it is they do. And that is they're in the, um, they're in the marketing business. Their job is to monetize prospects. So they will create or expand uh, and, and have different systems in place to make sure that when the lead shows up, that that lead is going to turn into some, do some kind of dollar sometime or another. Whereas the real estate agent seems to have tunnel vision, and their vision is, is that here's a buyer showing up, a lead, they're not expecting my call, and I am going to sell them a house. Okay, well, that, that's fine, but understand that is a massage therapist type um, uh, paradigm. In other words, I'm going to do the one thing, uh, I'm going to ignore all the other things that might could happen here that are right at my fingertips, like you know, getting paid uh, from a freaking home inspector for a referral or um, you know, a remodeler uh, or you know, a home stager you know, for a particular home seller or for a landscaper. I mean, the cash, look, the purpose of having a business, and that's why you guys got into the Platinum program and to begin with, it. my guess is it wasn't to find out how to generate more leads, although that is part of what we do, but, I mean, come on. It's a business. Your business has so many different things available to you, but it's all going to come down to what you're seeing on your screen right now, and that is this optimum conversion strategy. If you can convert your prospects uh, to income, so I want you to think about that as we run through today's uh, webinar. And it's, we're only going to run through this for 30, 45 minutes today. This ain't going to be a long deal, okay? Uh, but it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a recording that I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure we, get, we burn this, uh, uh, this thing and uh, get it up on the coaching site for, for you and all the other platinum members that come behind you. Uh, to me, it's really important. Okay, we're just not doing a very good job of leveraging our business. Uh, for the most part, you know, not everybody. It's not true, but there's a reason that most real estate agents, you know, get up to a million bucks or two million, maybe three million, and it just stops. As a matter of fact, if you don't have corporate accounts, let me repeat that. If you don't have any corporate accounts, zero, then about the top end is around three million bucks, maybe four, of all the real estate agents in North America. Did you know that? If you throw in the corporate accounts, then you can see some guys up to the four or five million dollar range. But that's about it. That's the top end. Based on the way things are done in this business, I'm just telling you, it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, now, that's a lot of money, and that's good for any small business, but um, it, can be, it can be much more. I mean, think about it. Just make a short list right now. You have the referral aspects that every customer you come into contact with can lead to referrals. You have the, um, you have the ability to sell all of these prospects, something else. Okay, so um, just I mean, think differently than just selling the house right now. You want to make sure that you're, you're generating cash flow from all of these customers that are coming your way. Now, yes, selling them a house, getting them into a home is exactly what you want to do. That's what your business is set up to do. And we don't want to be distracted from that. Okay, but as an entrepreneur and a business leader, sooner or later, um, you're going to have to Make sure that you're working on that number three strategy, that number three way to grow your business. Remember, there's only three ways. And the third way is to increase the number of times that a customer buys from you. Now, we're not saying that buys a house from you, but buys from you. So in other words, you're getting paid. Okay? So let's take a look then at uh, our optimum conversion strategy. And we're going to look at six simple steps here. Uh, just a better prospect conversion, because it's all going to start with selling your customers on you, doing business with you over and above anybody else or any other option. And I've maintained for quite some time over the last uh, six or seven years here as a platinum coach, I've, I've just maintained that, hey, look, if you're, if you're a solo man or solo lady and you, you're really not giving the leads to anybody else, then, hey, you don't need to do a whole lot of... Uh, video emails, you know, we can 
fax broadcasting or voice broadcasting or direct mail uh, to, uh, to help pre-sell these prospects on doing business with you because you're pretty good over the telephone. Okay, but I, I just want you to know that you're pretty good over the telephone when you reach people, but how many people can you reach at any given time? Well, you can only reach one. Like you, you personally can't talk to more than one person at a time on the telephone directly. Okay, so I want you to start thinking in terms of how can I talk to more people simultaneously uh, to increase my numbers of conversion, people wanting to do business with me. Okay, because you're generating a pretty fair amount of leads, both buyers and sellers. Okay, but look, it's all going to come down to you having something that they want really, really bad. Okay, so we'll, we'll say it's the offer that you make. Okay, so what are your offers? So write that down on your notepad right now. What are you offering buyers and sellers that's compelling them to want you over and above doing business on their own, going to another real estate agent, etc.? Okay, just like you're, just like if you're near a local supermarket, you're not going to get every uh, buyer in town for a loaf of bread. Okay, they're going to, or some milk. They're going to go to other places out of convenience and loyalty and and, and price points. Okay, perceptions, uh, recommendations, and the like. Okay, but come on, you don't need to generate a thousand leads to sell forty or fifty houses. Um, or I maintain that you don't need to generate a thousand leads to to monetize forty or fifty customers. Okay, you should be able to do a hundred, two hundred prospects, if if you're taking advantage of much of what's available to you in this program in terms of optimum conversion strategy. Okay, so number one here on our computer screen is after we generate the lead, so we're going to focus on after the lead comes our, our way, okay? So this uh, this webinar is about, again, conversion. So after the lead shows up, your job really uh, gets big, okay? Finding prospects, there's thousands of them in your marketplace. It's not really an issue, right? Um, I know it's difficult for some of us at different times, but look, should not be an issue generating leads. And if it is, you want to pick up the phone and you better call me because that is should not be something that uh, is a is an issue for people in this program. And if it is, again, I'm going to take the time right now to remind you to pick up the phone, give me a call, shoot me an email so we can get together one-on-one -on, -one on the phone because I can help you generate dozens, dozens, hundreds, over a thousand leads if that's what you want. Okay, it's Just trust me, it's all about message to media to market match. But after the lead comes in, what then? What should we do? What can we do to increase uh, our ability to convert the prospects to a face-to-face -face appointment? So I'm going to share with you today the things uh, that allowed me to uh, catapult quantum leap my sales with um, less and less leads the further into my real estate career and real estate business uh, that I went, what we've been able to help many of the platinum members do uh, to uh, you know better monetize or better use of their money, I should say, better use of their money when it comes to generating leads. So you don't have to you know generate a lot of leads, you know, 20 leads and sell one house kind of stuff. That's that's crazy. So let's take a look. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to activate my little drawing pin here. Uh, so let's talk about the buyers here real fast. I'll just put a little mark right there. Buyers, okay. Um, you generate a lead with a buyer. What do you do after you generate them? Well, buyers obviously should get a snapshot of properties with some sort of cover letter, okay? All right? That's going to link them back to uh, something of value and of benefit, okay? Uh, we also got video emails that we can take advantage of, okay? So there's there's several things in this little paragraph. Properties, okay? USP, unique selling proposition guarantees. You talking to them along the way, okay. Now this is all on top of you calling them, okay. So that's that's a lot right there in that one little sentence. Most of it that you're probably not doing right now, but we're going to get into that. All right. And then we're going to talk about sellers, okay. So what can we do with them? Well, you've got online pre-selling packages like the Ultimate Converter uh, that everyone on this on this um, webinar right now should be utilizing. It's just such a um, a, a unique and exclusive tool, okay? Then you have video emails as well. And again, this is all on top of you calling them, right? Nothing's going to replace the personal calls, 
time. And uh, we can even do direct mail uh, to these folks with addresses. Okay, and then one of my favorite things is, is voice broadcasting. Okay, you have voice broadcasting. Uh, you also have text. Okay, so you you know you can re utilize that. You have texting that you might could use. And there's a way to get people to opt in for those things. You have fax broadcasting if you're getting people's fax numbers. And you're not going to get cell phone numbers. You're not going to get fax numbers. You're not going to get addresses uh, unless you ask for them and, and and give people the reason to get them. For example, let's suppose that I want uh, my seller's cell phone number. Okay. How can you get cell phone numbers? Well, uh, what happens if I want cell phone numbers simply for texting? Then you just you ask. Okay, would you be interested in Mr. Seller in receiving uh, a report on your cell phone, delivered to your cell phone via text message, whenever a home in your market in your neighborhood goes under contract? And to know how much the property down the street sold for on your cell phone via text when it happens throughout this home throughout your home selling process so that you're up to the minute knowledgeable on how you can compete with the other homes in the marketplace All right now a pretty simple offer okay but you're not going to get it unless you ask okay I like voice broadcasting uh, but again We've got FCC regulations on voice broadcasting here in the United States. We also have some regulations on it in Canada, okay, and other parts of the of the globe because we have members in this program from um, other places than just Canada and the United States. But voice broadcasting, pretty much like anything else, needs to be an opt-in issue. So you'd obviously want to uh, let people know that you, know, you may be sending them audio messages on their cell phone if you're going to do this, okay? And I do recommend you do it. It's great leverage. All right, so let's take a look then at some of our optimum conversion strategies here for for buyers. Okay, now now one of the things that uh, uh, that that I'm real big on. Let me, uh, matter of fact, let me let me pause that page because I want to. Um, I definitely want to want to jump ahead a little bit here on this, and I want to I want to mix and mention this is that you always want to approach your prospects from a position of fulfillment. Okay, so a lot of you will generate leads, especially free list, free report leads from your less branded marketing that you might be doing. Uh, and you're going to find out that in the coming uh, years, the next two to three years, based on the, the marketplace in the United States, as well as some of the marketplaces in Canada that's going up and down right now, you're going to see that, uh, that unbranded, less branded, free information type marketing um, is going to really be a big deal. It's going to be huge. Editorials, all those things that many of you are ignoring right now, uh, spending uh, money and time trying to generate uh, a lot of branded prospects and ignoring that, you're going to see that that's going to be a mistake for you. Okay, um, when, um, when people are in doubt about something, then they look for information. So if you're failing, and again, this is kind of a side note, but if you're failing to provide information marketing uh, to your prospects in your marketplace right now, then you're really missing the boat. Okay, um, I would I would highly recommend that you uh, re-examine that. And some of you are obviously doing it and doing great. Okay, but approaching your prospects from a position of fulfillment is very important to you. So. When you call them back, you want to be able to say, you've got it. I've sent it to you. You've, it's on its way. You don't want to say, before I send it, or I'm going to send you what you wanted, uh, and then start into your offer. See, there is a, a universal law, universal truth of, of reciprocity, that uh, when, uh, when someone requests something from you, okay, and that you've promised you will give them, when you follow up and say, you've got it, or it's on its way, or I've, I've fulfilled what it is you wanted, sent that to you, okay? It does something in the prospect's mind. There's a psychological um, uh, approach here that allows them to listen to pretty much anything else that you have to say. Whereas if you say, hey, before I send that to you, um, you know what? You're going to put a, you're gonna put a, a wall or a little bit of separation in between 
taking advantage of that, that whole universal law right there. So I just want to recommend that you always approach prospects from a position of fulfillment. Mr. Seller, hey, I've sent you, uh, or Mr. Byer, I've sent you the list of homes uh, that you've requested. Okay, uh, you should have those within the next day or two. I put them in the mail to you. Okay, personally put them in the mail to you. They're on the way. Okay, is that is that right? And, and that will, wow, that will give you great leverage uh, to to be able to ask the prospect some questions. Okay, so some of you are trying to circumvent that or avoid it altogether, and I just got to tell you that's. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna hurt you long term. Okay, so let's go back to to our fulfillment. Okay, sending prospects information, uh, especially buyers. Okay, uh, it, pictures and descriptions of properties. Okay, we all know is very important. Okay, but this is your chance to uh, to sell. Look, you've got to take every opportunity to convert the prospect to a face to face appointment, to a phone call. There's got to be some measurable action. And it, and, and look. You don't want to focus on two or three things. One, like what is it that you're trying to accomplish when you're sending buyers pictures and descriptions of homes? What is it that you're trying to get done? Okay, well, if you don't know, then your prospects aren't going to know. And let me tell you what won't work. What won't work is for you to send pictures and descriptions to buyers out there and think that they're just going to pick up the phone and call you after getting them and say, I want to buy one of these. That's not going to work. People sell homes, not marketing and ads. Okay, so you want to take the opportunity from your cover letters. Now, I'm not going to tell you that one or two out of a hundred may not call you after getting the picture description. They want to buy one of these homes because obviously uh, that does happen. It's happened to all of us, but that's not what we're after, right? The purpose of this webinar is to increase our conversion. So, what is it that we want them to do? Okay, well, whatever it is you want them to do should be in your cover letters and cover emails when you're sending your buyers pictures and descriptions of what it is they've requested. And if you're not sending them pictures, descriptions of what they requested, big mistake. Now many of you are trying to find active properties to fulfill. What about inactive properties? Homes not on the market. Take the take the um, opportunity to further what is your story on how you can help them uniquely over and above others. So you sent them for sale by owners. You sent them properties that aren't on the market for sale, expired, withdrawals, as well as homes that are currently on the market for other. If you've got REO accounts, bank accounts, okay, um, send them some of those. These are properties that aren't on the market yet. We just got it from the bank. You're going to be getting this in. And now what you're doing, you're demonstrating value, and you can leverage off of that. Okay, please. That's all you have to do is include something of unique value. And we know that buyers want priority access to proprietary information. Okay, so uh, this is a simple little example here. Attached, you'll find a snapshot of available homes for sale, uh, matching the general home buying criteria that you've submitted. Okay, if you would like to preview any of these properties, just call me and we can arrange a private preview. Okay, I would even throw in here uh, to make this a little bit better is that you're never obligated to buy. Okay, uh, and uh, and that's a big Right? And don't just say, just call. Right? This is kind of a mistake here. You want to tell them what to call. Like, I know the phone number's down here in the next paragraph, but not good enough. Okay, We want to say what number they should call. If you would like to preview any of these properties, okay, well, what happens if I want to preview others? Or what about the other listings that you didn't send me? Okay, we, we you can preview any property on the market for sale as well as not on the market for sale simply by calling this number. And we can promptly research the information on any home uh, through our custom computerized software okay, and arrange for a private preview of that property, provide you with any information uh, requested. Right, now that's that's a pretty powerful statement. Okay, so you can see that's that's optimally better than what you're looking at, you know, in just this general cover letter from uh, the Home Hunter service on your computer screen right now. That's just pretty good. Okay, so look at another paragraph. If you would like to edit 
your home buying criteria for a more specific search without obligation to buy, simply call this number. And I don't much like that one either. That can be done better. All right, so um, so uh, if you would like, um, if none of these properties match your home buying criteria, um, there are over 40,000 others available. Okay, it's just a matter of, of, of optimizing or changing or getting a better description from you of what it is you most want in your next home. Okay, there's no obligation to buy. Uh, simply call and give them the phone number. Right, and uh, in 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 a new search or a new batch or a new group of properties uh, can be sent over to you within 15 minutes of the phone call. Okay, so that's pretty strong. Now, always include uh, some sort of PS or additional offer or opportunity to brand on any of these uh, letters that are going out. So if you're not happy with your home purchase, I'll buy it back for your port at whatever. Okay, pretty simple stuff. But um, you, may even, uh, you may even get a little bit better with that and say, uh, you know, um, judge and leave or um, satisfaction, home purchase satisfaction guarantee. Home buyer satisfaction guarantee. Okay, then state it. Okay, if you're not completely happy with happy with your home purchase, okay, we'll buy it back. You buy a home, any property you buy from us. If you're not completely satisfied with it, up to a full 24 months after purchase. Okay, just let us know. We'll buy it back from you. Okay, detail more details or free report. At. Okay, so that's pretty good. So don't um, let's just make sure we're not haphazardly uh, putting something together. Like, like this is okay, but you can see from our dissecting it based on our experiences and discoveries, we can optimize. You know, much of what it is that we're doing right now. I like that. Okay, now let's talk about some voice broadcasting to uh, you know, force by owners, expires, or whatever. So the object of uh, of direct mail uh, for many of us is to try to is to try to convert the person that you know we're sending the direct mail to to an to an immediate client, and that's just really difficult to do. Okay, understand that if you send a hundred pieces of mail out and you get five people to respond to your direct mail, that's a five percent response, and uh, but I like to say it's a ninety five percent non response. Okay, so. Uh, you may want to consider re-examining or looking at your direct mail uh, to see if there's a way for you to get prospects to opt into um, a voice broadcast. Okay, and it's as simple as making an offer of like uh, find out what the home down the street sold for for your report. Okay, and uh, and just include that into your voice broadcasting message. Okay, so quite simple. You know, we can deliver an audio message uh, to your cell phone. Okay, uh, and th that that will give you a breakdown on what homes down the street have sold for. And then when you get opt-in um, responses, and again, this is leveraging uh, or utilizing a voice broadcasting in such a way that you don't have any issues with the FCC if you're just going to blindly do it. Now, if you're in Canada, you can voice broadcast right now, uh, pretty much uninterrupted, if you have uh, have the ability to to do that. Now, automated marketing solutions. Let me say that before I forget. Automated Marketing Solutions is a company that we use uh, that has a voice broadcasting capability. You just send them the list of phone numbers on an Excel spreadsheet that you want to voice broadcast, uh, along with the ID number that you want to be broadcasted. And again, this is an ID number that you recorded, and it can go out. So let's just take a quick peek at a couple of these. These are four examples here that some of you have seen before. Uh, first one says, hey, this is Todd Walters. I'm the president and CEO of the realty team here in town. I'm calling about your property. Now look, if your home is listed with an agent right now, this is not an attempt to solicit your listing. Now what we found is, is that, and this is funny, when we first started doing the voice broadcast uh, to these type of prospects, you know, we didn't have that in there. 
we didn't have if your home is listed. And I had uh, real estate agents, you know, complaining and submitting me to the board and all this other jazz. Um, and rightly so, because I'm trying to steal their business and they don't like it, so they're going to fight it the best way they can. Uh, and I get that; it's fine. So if a home was listed, you know, we, we didn't have that in there. Uh, and my broker came to me one day, uh, calls me up, and says, "Hey, you know, uh, I like the voice broadcasting thing. I'm getting some complaints here from some people." And I was like, "Oh, well, I'll just throw that in there." Now, what I found out is that when we added that, when we added that statement in there, <laughs> we actually increased our callbacks. Okay, so let's think about that. I, op I was able to increase my response or optimize my conversion okay, by letting them know that I'm not calling to pound you over the head okay, about listing your home. All right, so it's pretty interesting. All right, just so how can you make good use of that in some of the marketing that you're doing right now? Okay, in other words, exclusivity sales, limited availability sales. All right, so just a side note. All right, we have a very special database of motivated cash buyers, and then describe who these cash buyers are. Like you know, we don't do it here just because of the uh, you know the limited time available on these messages, but who are these buyers? Who are they? Okay. So I mean, think about that. Who who are these buyers? Uh, are they local moves ups? Are they um, in real estate investors? Are they people relocating in from out of town? Okay. Because I mean, think about it. We have a special database of very motivated cash buyers. Sounds general. And 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 again, you're a real estate agent, so there's some level of skepticism. But if you say we have a very special database of first time home buyers. Okay, from um, this apartment complex, that apartment complex, and this apartment complex, or this condo building, that condo building, this condo building, or um, from the Alpharetta, Georgia area, or we have a very special database of, of motivated cash buyers that have relocated into town uh, from the Florida market, specifically Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Dade County. Okay. Now you're talking about exclusivity, relevance, okay? And it's all true. You're not going to obviously you're not going to say this if it ain't so, but it gives you or demonstrates more value, makes your offer more legitimate. Okay, so just just remember, specificity and exclusivity is a big selling point. Okay, I believe that several of these prospects would have serious interest in your property just based on what they've told me they want and what you're saying that you have. So we're confident that one of these folks will buy your home, okay? Um, so much so that if after presenting your property to our list of buyers and they don't buy it, then I will. That's our guarantee. We can buy your home if it doesn't sell. Or so much so that if they don't buy it um, uh, at the price that you want, Guess how confident we are that they will pay you what you need for the property, that if they don't, we will step in and pay you the difference on the sale. So there's no gimmicks here. Everything is in writing. Okay, so if getting your price uh, from one of these buyers here that best matches with your property is what is something that interests you, there's absolutely no obligation for us to discuss a sale. Uh, and here's what you need to do to reach me and you give me your phone number if that's what you're trying to accomplish, is to get them to call. All right, so that's a pretty strong message, and you can see that um, we can optimize it. Now, so so the, the interesting thing is here, many of you in the Platinum program, 150 you know members in this program, uh, like to copy and implement stuff, but, I, but I, I'm just telling you that um, I can look at anything just based on my experience. Again, it's over 20 years of, uh, of selling houses, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of properties sold, and the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of attempts to sell that didn't work, okay, that I've learned from, and uh, and the you know over 200 platinum members that have entered this program since its inception, what worked and what didn't work for them. So I'm just telling you, make sure that you take a step back and breathe, and as you're paying attention to these webinars and listen to the coaching that we talk about, you you will get little glimpses into how you can optimize anything, just just like we did here on this. Why that thing's you know, jumping around like that? 
must be my drawing tool. So I like that. Let's look at that. Let's skip down here because you guys can read. Uh, let's talk about. Um, oh, here's one. Oh, I like this one because we talk about our citywide buyer agents network. Uh, hi, this is Todd Walters, uh, president, CEO of the Realty Team. I like that because it sounds more important. Broker, owner of uh, Remax Communities, or whatever it is your title is, if you have one. Okay, uh, and I think you're still interested in getting your home sold. Okay, um, but if your home is, you know, if it's listed with an agent right now, uh, please know this is not an attempt to solicit your listing. Okay, and the reason I'm calling is that we've got a very special database of buyers. And this includes real estate investors, okay, professional home buyers, owner occupants looking to shelter some income for a couple of years to avoid capital gains, as well as our 23,000 member citywide buyer agents network. Okay, it's a big database of buyers, and and many of these motivated buyers they're buying up to 30 homes a month. Okay, we're involved in this selling process. So that's why I'm calling you. Your description or the description of your property matches with several of these cash buyers that we have in our system. And part of my job is to look for properties that do that. And I'm confident that one of these one of these buyers, they'll buy your home. Okay? And if they don't, we will. It's just a it's it's a it's a promise, a pledge that we make to anyone that we pick up the phone and call and we say this to. Okay, so we're confident of a quick sale. So there's no obligation for us to at least talk about it and discuss the sale. So if, if, if that sounds like something you're interested in, okay, one of these buyers buying your home, and if they don't, we will, uh, then just call me at this number. My name again is Todd Walters, and here's my number. Okay, so some great tidbits there and marketing lingo or language uh, that, that should be able to help you. All right, so some great stuff. Let's look at another one. Uh, here's a 60, here's a different unique, unique selling proposition. Uh, let's, just, uh, let's just take a look at the first one here. Hi, this is Todd Walters, and I'm calling about your property. Okay, this is not an attempt to solicit your listing if it's currently on the market with another agent. Or just flat out say, look, I'm not calling to list your house, and uh, and that that's big, uh, and and this is how you want to think. What is it? What is it that for sale by owners, expired listings, other people that, that really want to sell their property? What is it that they don't want? Okay, where they don't want real estate agents calling them to list their house. They want to sell their property. So what is it that they believe they need to sell their property? Yeah, buyers. So you want to make sure that you speak right to that. That's the conversation going on in their mind. So go ahead and say, look, this is Todd Walters uh, from, you know, the Realty Team, uh, and I'm not calling to, you know, solicit your listing. Try to list your house. All right, very important. Get that out of the way because that's not what they want, okay, or that's what they want to hear. So we want to make sure we say that. And my guess is you're not that interested in listing their property either. You're looking for sales opportunities. Okay, so that's what you do. You sell houses, so let's let's make sure you stay focused on it. All right, um, but you know we do have a very special database of buyers, and these buyers include. Go ahead and be specific. We have a very special database of first-time home buyers. If this is a first-time home buyer house, if it's a mover property, we have a very special database of mover buyers that are coming out of other properties in Alpharetta, Georgia, that have gone under contract and they're looking for another one. Okay, and. Uh, uh, and based on your home buying criteria, it, I mean your home selling criteria, it matches with the buyer's home buying criteria. So one of these buyers will buy your home. We will sell it. Okay, you'll get the price that you want and need, and it'll happen within 60 days. And if it doesn't, we pay you $1,000 cash. We just put that in writing when we make calls like this uh, so that people know that we're very serious. But there's no gimmicks. And there's no hype here. So for quick sale at your price, okay, is something you're interested in, uh, just know there's no obligation for you to sell whatsoever when you call me. But here's my number, and we look forward to hearing from you. Now, I don't recommend that you pick up the phone and leave that message to, you know, on a personal basis, just calling and calling, calling people. But as a voice broadcast, as a follow-up, 
uh, to, to um, a large group of prospects that you have that you're trying to reach and you're marketing to, it works great. But it, it works doubly well when you're direct mailing in video emailing a prospect group. So remember that now. We talked about that as we got this thing started today. Your voice broadcasting on top as well as direct mail as well as video emails, it all works together. Okay, and this will generate a stream of prospects calling you back. Every time we did a voice broadcast to a prospect group, uh, we would have a large percentage of those people call us back immediately. And it just worked like clockwork. It's funny because I would have agents come in, and some of you guys would just ask me, you know, how in the world are you listing, you know, 70, 80, 90 houses every month? I mean, it's just, I mean, how are you doing that with no corporate accounts? All right, so you're getting a good idea of how it, it happens, okay? And uh, and I just wasn't big on um, inefficiency and loss of productivity in my business, as you guys know. Okay, so how about buyers? All right, so what do you what do you say to these buyers? So remember, when buyers request information from you, okay, you can obviously have them opt into um, a voice broadcasting system, all right? And we're gonna oh. Uh, I guess I could say that now, even though this is going to be posted on as a recorded uh, webinar on the coaching site, and many people will be watching and listening to this uh, one, two, three years down the road, I will say at our upcoming conference, we're going to be talking about opt-ins and opt-outs uh, for prospects in your business so you can uh, play within the rules and make sure that you can voice broadcast and text broadcast. Uh, buyer prospects. Hey, this is Todd Walters. Sorry I missed you. Uh, you're receiving uh, pictures and descriptions of some properties available that match your general home buying criteria. Uh, and look, to avoid missing out on the perfect home, just give me a call and we can narrow down your search criteria and uh, set up, uh, set you up on your very own VIP insider access list. Uh, it's just a free service that we offer. Uh, saves you a ton of time, okay, and allows you to avoid missing out on properties uh, that uh, may be your actual dream home. Okay, and as always, any buyer that ever buys a home through our real estate company, and they're not satisfied with it, we'll buy it back. Okay, so that's a great brand right there. You want to be branding people on something, but remember, buyers are most interested in what? That's right, houses. Okay, priority access to proprietary information. Priority access to proprietary information. So there's your big offer, and, and I would even get more specific here. Hey, you're getting some pictures, descriptions of properties that match your general home buying criteria, okay? But but please know there's hundreds, possibly thousands more available, okay? It's a lot of properties. So rather than you receiving 100 properties or so that may or may not be what you're looking for, and you're possibly missing out on the perfect deal, okay? We can definitely narrow down that criteria and and help you avoid missing out on the perfect home. It'd be much less likely. And there's no obligation for you to buy. Okay, so uh, that's your simple offer that you're making on the telephone. You can make it in a voice broadcast as well to your buyer prospects. Okay, now, if you are sending out, and many of you are, because you're using these, like, Realty Generator and all these, you got, you got a crap load of buyers. Hundreds, some of you got hundreds of buyers getting pictures and descriptions, and you're picking up the phone and calling them, and you're playing phone tag and all this kind of stuff. All right, so there's no way I'm going to be picking up the phone and calling back a hundred prospects, okay, that um, aren't even expecting my call, aren't looking for me, um, and, and and avoiding voice broadcast altogether. It's just it just takes you just personally can't do that. You but you can spend your time calling back everyone who's contacting you if you put systems like this in place, okay. So if it works right, then yeah, you should have an overflow of prospects. Now a couple of a um, couple of things here I want to throw in uh, that's something that we all know, but it's definitely worth talking about again, is especially for the team leaders that have buyer's agents, you know, how do you know that the prospects are being called back? How do you know that they're being called back promptly? And this is pretty interesting because most of you were at the last conference, and I played for you recordings of me calling back, uh, or me calling or mystery shopping your business. And and uh, I, I forget who all the agents were, but they were it was top 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 producing real estate agents. 
Okay, and it was eye opening. It really tells you that you think you got really good salespeople, and I'm not going to deny that they are, because they're selling three houses, four houses a month, maybe more. So you're like, wow, this guy's really good. Okay, well, but you sell what five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you don't have to call back as many prospects. So let's just be realistic about it. They're not as good as you. Okay, um, and how do you know that they're even doing the job that you want them to do? Okay, what is your best practices for these folks? Your optimum conversion strategy. Well, if you're not, if you're not mystery shopping your team on a consistent basis and grading them as such and replaying these calls in sales meetings, if you're not, if that's not what your focus is, is on increasing your productivity and your conversion uh, and uh, and holding people accountable to that, then yeah, you're right. You're you're going to have to generate 20 leads and sell two or three houses per agent. It's just, it's just hard. Okay, that's a lot of waste and a lot of money falling by the wayside. So I want to make sure I get that in there. Mystery shop people that you hire. Okay, you know how hard it is to follow back up with people, right? So look, I think people need a call within within 15 minutes. There's been lots of studies on this. Uh, you can't wait to the next day, uh, and uh, of course you got to really leverage the, the best script known to man. Uh, known to real estate agents, which is that universal follow-up script that everybody's familiar with and should know backwards and forwards. Also, don't forget your your secondary email feature on each landing page, like on your success website. Yeah, every landing page, you're you're able to put in a secondary email address. Uh, you have your primary email address through your website. You have a secondary one. Uh, I would definitely make sure you're utilizing those. Don't have the leads going to just one email address, right? So. If you're very serious about it, or you have a key man tied to your business, uh, then they should have access. They should be the secondary email address. You should be the secondary email address, and then you'll know whether your agents are actually calling back the leads. Like if they know you're getting the lead as well, and you can ask them, "Did you call back this guy? What happened here?" Okay, that's it. So a sales manager's job is to make sure that sales are being managed, prospects are being followed up with. Right. So unfortunately, you have to play the sales manager. Uh, when you have a team in that in that respect. So I'm sure you're doing a great job there. Now on this universal callback script, wow, this one looks old, isn't it? I bet you this script here, um, based on how many times it's been copied and scanned and all that kind of stuff, this might be my original one. <laughs> Pin this up on the wall at the location where you make your follow-up calls. So I was up at, uh, whose office was that? Uh, Francois McKay. Awesome uh, real estate agent from Montreal area, and uh, I was walking through his office. I saw one agent, I think, uh, in the office, if I recall, that uh, had this script laying around. Okay, but I'm just letting you know, if it were me, this would be laminated, and this would be up in any on uh, next to or or up in front of every single real estate agent's desk that I ever hired. I would never allow them not to have this in plain view where I could see it. And I would just make it really clear as you hired them that, hey, if I'm walking by your desk and uh, and I don't see this and you're on the telephone, uh, then you and I are going to have to go for a walk. Okay? This is the script that you follow, period. This will, this will keep your time on the telephone to a minimum. Uh, this will allow you to never uh, screw up making the offer. And it will also keep you in tune with closing prospects, all right? Closing, closing. This is a closing script, all right? So please, make sure that um, that's, that's available. That's a best practice. All right, now many of you uh, have been wise to do that, but some of you uh, complain to me on a regular basis that your outside salespeople or your inside salespeople or the one agent that you just hired that... Um, they're not really doing that great of a job. And that's always my first question on my checklist when I'm talking to platinum members is, well, do they have the universal callback script um, um, posted right there by their telephone where they're making the calls? Um, have you role played with your buyer's agent or yourself for that matter? Do you have it up? Do you know it backwards and forwards? So at the workshops that we do in platinum, I always say, okay. When we get to this little part and working with buyers, 
you know, usually comes up on, um, you know, day two. I'm saying, okay, how many of you right now can stand up in this room in front of 50, 60, 70 people and go backwards and forwards through the universal callback script? How many of you? Right? And uh, the funny thing is, is that most everybody in the room can't do that. Many platinum members can't do it. And I'm not saying that this is a requirement for being in the program. I'm just saying this is just part of the system. Okay? You really want to know these offers. Okay? You have a simple sell first offer and a simple buy first offer. This is very important. And what is your secondary offer? I mean, what, what's your plan B? Like if they're not uh, quite ready to do something, what are you going to do then? Okay, we want, look, wouldn't it be great to turn around in, uh, in four months and have two or 300 prospects that are wanting to buy? Well, it won't happen if you don't have a plan B in place. Okay, something that you can stay in touch with them on, something you can follow back up on, something you can leverage off of, give you a reason to follow back up. Okay, so make sure that uh, your plan B is there. Very, very important. All right. So this is still tried and true many, 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 many years later. Okay, I think I first saw the script back in the uh, late 90s. Okay, so uh, 96 maybe, uh, maybe 95 actually. All right, so there you go. Fantastic. All right, now we talked about the fulfillment side of it, but let's talk about the offers now and how we can little uh, do a little better job of optimizing our conversion. Okay, they're calling you about something. All right, now let's, um, let's, let's look at an obvious example. Uh, on your signs, your for sale sign, uh, you probably have a writer on there that says www.newhotlisting.com or something similar to it. And when they, uh, when they go to your newhotlisting.com sign writer, uh, they land on your VIP bio page on your success website, your branded VIP buyer page. Okay? And the offer is, hey, you can become a VIP buyer and receive priority access uh, to properties matching your exact home buying criteria. Okay, we have a special proprietary system that searches out all of the real estate, um, all of the properties for sale among all of the real estate companies, even distress sales, divorce sales, fixed reppers, and bank owned properties. Okay, these properties can be sent to you immediately upon request. You're not obligated to buy. It's a free service. Just fill out the form below to get started. And make sure that that form is a long form. I've noticed on some of success websites, oh, oh, this is good. I was talking to Craig Proctor uh, two weeks ago. And in the conversation, he said, you know, our latest coaching group is having some issues uh, in uh, their lead generation. And we couldn't figure out what in the world was going on so, uh, we, until we really dove in and started looking at it. And what we found was is that success website, I'm not being critical of success because, look, they're not in the lead generation business. They're in the website selling business. So, um, but success website um, had on their new sites that they, that they did, you know, the new look and all that kind of stuff, uh, that the forms, the default form was the short form. Okay, well, that obviously speaks to uh, and tells a prospect when they look at it that I got a sales guy that's going to be calling me if I fill out this form. All right, don't do that. The purpose of a buyer profile or a home hunter system is to provide buyers with information that they're looking for without being harassed by a salesperson. So logically, they're going to have to fill out a long form describing the property that they're looking for, that they think that they're doing the work of finding the property. Okay, so if you're not playing to that, oof, you're in trouble. All right, so as these leads come in from, say, that particular landing page, your VIP buyer page, what are you going to say when you call them back? Because you've already told them they can become a VIP buyer and get priority access to homes matching their home buying criteria. So when you call prospects back on the telephone, okay, whatever you're offering in your in your, uh, in your advertising, in your marketing, if you want them to meet with you face-to-face, -face, then you're going to have to offer them something better than what they originally called on, okay, especially if it's free information-driven. 
Okay, so what is better than what they originally called on? Well, obviously, I don't know what what you're offering, but whatever it is, your over the phone conversation it better be better. So for buyers, you know, priority access to proprietary information. So if they requested a list of first time buyer distress sales, what's better than that? If they call on a for sale sign wanting information on their property, what's better than that? Okay, so um, you know they can find out about properties first before other buyers, exclusive even before most agents do. Okay, properties they can get on their own or from others. Like one of my most favorite things uh, is to give them access to uh, bank-owned properties before they hit the marketplace because we have special accounts with banks. For example, if you um, you know are in Canada or the United States and have access to that kind of thing. Okay, but uh, but look, even if you don't have that, you have relationships with other real estate agents that may offer that. Okay, so use words that uh, they feel like that they can't find on there, like builder closeouts. Okay, off-market properties. Okay, some of you guys are house buyer network members. Okay, lots of leverage there. Offer them something better than what they called on. Okay, so uh, let's sellers. Look at an obvious example there. Um, Find out what your home's worth online. Uh, how has President Obama's economic policies for the United States affected your home's value before selling? Find out online. Free quick over the net home evaluation. www.blahblahblah.com. How has RBC's uh, policies for raising interest rates uh, affected uh, uh, your home's value before selling? Find out online. Free quick over the net home evaluation. www.blahblahblah.com. Okay, so you phone those people back. It's pretty easy to offer them something better than what they originally called on. Hey. Um, are you interested in getting a, a broad range of, of properties uh, or broad range of value uh, that your home uh, falls into, or would you like a more accurate analysis of what you can expect to sell your home for when you get ready to sell, as well as a breakdown on what you'll have left in your pocket when it sells? As a matter of fact, we can even uh, give you some tips on what to do and, more importantly, what not to do to get the most amount of money when you get ready to sell it. Okay, so. The scripts are written that way for a reason, but remember, offer them something better than what they originally called on is a key aspect to better conversion. Right? I like that. Okay, another one, appointment cancellations. You are going to have people cancel from time to time. Okay, so um, as a friendly reminder to you, uh, we can look at, uh, real quickly, a couple of things that you may or may not be doing right now. Uh, but everyone should be. Okay, number one, before hanging up the phone with any prospect, make sure that you reiterate what it is that they said yes to. Reiterate the USP. Uh, okay, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at 6 p.m., Mr. Buyer. And again, when we get together, we're going to go over your home buying criteria. We're going to review some of these homes together. I'm going to bring someone along with me, a short stack. Um, just so you can get a really good idea of what they look like, and then you're going to begin getting access to all the homes matching exactly what you're looking for as they become available, which means you're going to beat out a lot of buyers to the best homes. Okay, so looking forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m. All right, that's pretty strong. All right, another one. Don't be booking buyer appointments too far out now because uh, you know they tend to have to be rebooked. Okay, that's just what we've noticed over the last few years. And some of you are saying they have to come to my office, they have to come to my office, they have to come to my office. Well, look at them. Um, if it's a long ways away, look, just because that works for Craig Proctor in Newmarket when everybody has to go to town on a regular basis to do anything, uh, just based on that way that's laid out, doesn't mean it works for Todd Walters in Atlanta uh, when we may have to drive 45 minutes, okay, just to go show a house based on the way our town's laid out and spread out. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, if your appointments get too long, okay, there should be something going out to the to the prospect or to the buyer between hanging up the phone and when you meet with them. Okay, so I'm gonna um, you know recommend maybe a follow miscellaneous reason to call. Hey, I was preparing for our meeting. Wanted to double check some of your general home buying criteria, and then of course you're gonna reiterate uh, you know the unique selling proposition when you do get a chance to do that. Okay, uh, and, and in the end, you definitely are gonna send them. Uh, an email confirmation, okay, after you hang up the phone with your contact info, okay, um, you're going to make sure that your 
unique selling proposition is in there, okay, in your um, in your email with all your contact information and what it is they said yes to originally why you're even getting together. Okay, so very important. If you're using a system like that, then you will have more appointments that will take place. If you're not, then you're going to run into some cancellations. Okay, now, another thing that uh, I want to discuss with you as we uh, kind of wrap up um, you know, this uh, webinar today, okay, is uh, autopsies. Okay, this is where, uh, I, I, this is a rain-making activity. And it, it does bother me that um, a lot of you will go on appointment, go on an appointment, go on an appointment. You get half the appointments. Everybody bumps up their numbers, it seems like, where they say they get, uh, you know, 80, 90 percent of everything. But, you know, I've been doing this long enough to know that that's not true. Okay, don't, you, you got to be honest with yourself on this. When you walk out the door without any signed paperwork, what, what's your process? What's your process for? What, is your, what are your best practices for a, acquiring that client? Okay? So part of a rainmaker's job is, uh, is to call back prospects after appointments if you don't get the signed agreements and ask them for their business. Hey, look, I appreciate the opportunity. Hey, hey Mr. Here's one. Mr. Seller, this is Todd Walters. Uh, president and CEO of Todd Walters Real Estate, and I wanted to thank you personally for uh, your time yesterday talking with Paula uh, about your home sale. Okay, um, I wanted to follow back up with you and see what we needed to do to get your business. All right, so Paula walks out without signed agreement. Paula's telling me, "Oh, we're going to get the listing." You know, yeah, these. Oh, they left me. Okay, well, where's the listing agreement? Well, you know, the, I left the paperwork with them. Okay, and the tendency is for most team leaders and most managers is to say, okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Now, unfortunately, that's the way a lot of businesses operate. But I'm just telling you, you are obligated to your stockholders to perform very, very well. Your stockholders are you, your bank account. So yeah, I would be definitely have an autopsy or follow-up in place for any buyer or seller that you don't get the paperwork signed from. And if you do this, if you just do this and nothing else we talked about today, you will increase your conversions. You will make more money. And many of you are right now watching this webinar and you're shaking your head and you're saying, absolutely, Todd, I'm doing it. It's working great. Uh, you're absolutely right on with that. Okay. Listen, though, when you're talking. Okay. What is it that they need? That You don't need to do a survey on... You know, well, we didn't like Paula. You know, she talked really fast, or she omitted some details. And you, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. We'll work on that in the future. Look, you listen, and then you close, okay? Because when they start talking to you, they're going to say they're giving you clues into what it is they want and what it is they need, okay? Okay. So if so, um, during this process, you know. Now that we know what you're looking for, we provide you with details along the way. Okay, not talk fast, but make sure that we're listening. And you get the details that you're looking for. Uh, an example would be on every property that you find interest in, we can do a background check on the property. A background check in terms of liens, uh, bankruptcy applications for the sellers, uh, past problems, um, you know, outside influences, you know, whether there might be some things going on in the area and neighborhood that could have a negative uh, impact on the property. So we can provide you with that along the way. That's part of our system right there. Uh, does that make you feel more comfortable? Great. Uh, so um, provided we can do a good job for you, okay with us helping, helping you with uh, your next home purchase? As long as we can provide you with that, are you okay with us helping, uh, helping you with your next home purchase? Okay, so listen and close. Listen and close. All right, so there you go. So that's pretty strong. And then look, if you ever run out of things to say, like we say in our workshops, performance guarantee. Okay? Performance guarantee. And hey, look, if you're not happy with the property, we'll buy it back from you. Within a full 24 months of you purchasing a property, any home, if you're not happy with it, we will buy it back. Okay, so this guarantees that you're going to be getting the best home at the best price. It reverses the risk. So the, the, these autopsy calls are, are huge. Okay? So, um, you know, on the performance guarantee side of it, I don't know what your best performance guarantee is, but you better have them, okay, for buyers, 
okay, and for sellers. You better have some solid risk reversal in place if you're serious about converting more prospects to face-to-face -face appointments. When you run out of things to say, you better come up with something, and that better thing to come up with typically is a performance guarantee. Okay? Hey, Todd, you know, we, it all looks good and sounds good, but I just think we're going to, uh, I think we're going to stick with the four sell by owner thing. And we're going to try the four sell by owner thing for another 30 days. You guys ever heard of that? Okay. So, well, look, I can certainly understand that. Um, and, you know, I don't want to get in the way of you selling your house. The reason I'm calling you and the reason I met with you is to help you sell your home so that you get what it is you want and need. And, and I'm fully aware that if, if I'm not doing that, then you're not going to be interested in doing business with me. So why don't we, why don't we try this? How about if, if you can sell a home on your own and at the same time simultaneously we're selling it? They don't know wrong. And if you sell the home on your own, you don't owe me anything. Zero commission. This is like having the best of both worlds and allows you to sort of test drive what it is we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Because if you're not happy with what it is we're doing, you can cancel. How does that sound? All right, so there you go. And, uh, you know, if it comes to price, if price is an issue, then you're going to get your price, not will pay the difference, you know, whatever it is that uh, your performance guarantee is, but you, you've got to have them. Okay, risk, and you got to get really, really good at making those offers. Okay, so um, what we talked about over the last hour is kind of a tiny part of uh, conversion. Okay, but you know we covered quite a few few details in there. Lots of good information for you. But conversion, conversion, conversion. Yes, generating leads is a big deal. Okay, but turning those leads into clients. Okay, is one of the most very important things that you will do as a business owner. The better systems you have in place, the better the words that you're using, the better your marketing, okay, during that process, through video emails, through uh, uh, text emails, through voice broadcasting, through text broadcasting, through fax broadcasting, through um, your personal phone calls back to them, okay, direct mail, all of those things in every component of it, they're all in systems and they're all designed to help you convert more prospects to face-to-face -face appointments. Now, we're not trying to replace personal calls. You're not going to do that. Okay? But what you will do is you, op you will optimally, optimally convert more of your prospects to sales if you put some of these systems in place. So uh, with that, I want to thank you guys for making time to jump on today's Platinum Best Practices Coaching Webinar, okay, and, and allow uh, me the opportunity to share some of these things with you that work and work really, really well, and that every good, solid business has in place, okay. Uh, always room for improvement, obviously. As you can see, you know, we ran down through some of these things, and we were even able to optimize them and make them better along the way. So even though it might be some things that some of you have talked about before, I know I've talked to many of you about these things, uh, on uh, several occasions over the last few years. Uh, but, hey, uh, every time we revisit these things, we seem to get a little bit better at it. Okay, so, look, thanks for your time, and uh, let's go sell some houses. Hey, look, if you're, <laughs> you're going to sell, you might as well sell big. Uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.